minus 10 seconds. Go for main engine start. Seven, six, five. Three engines up and burning. Three, two, one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery. Crew members aboard, we've got Andy Thomas, Dr. Charlie Camarda, and Wendy Lawrence in the middle. I'm Captain Wendy Lawrence. I served in the Navy for 25 years, first as a helicopter pilot and then as a NASA astronaut. I'm third generation Navy. My maternal grandfather and my father were also career naval aviators. And growing up, I watched them live by the principles that the Navy had instilled in them. So I decided that I too wanted to serve my country in uniform. And I followed my grandfather and my father to the Naval Academy, graduating in the second class with women. And yes, it was really challenging to be a woman at the Academy back then. As a former astronaut, you might think the most terrifying thing I've done is ride a rocket to space. Actually, it was landing my helicopter on the back of a ship at night and here's what I learned from that scary experience. It's okay to be afraid, but don't let that fear control you. There are going to be times in your life where you have to deal with people who doubt that you have the ability to succeed, but you don't have to listen to them and you don't have to believe them. That's your choice. I am Title Sergeant Jamie Hash, active duty Air Force. I joined the military to follow in the footsteps of some of my family members and to be a part of something bigger than myself. I enlisted as an aircraft armament technician working on the weapon systems of fighter jets. One of my proudest moments was a deployment in the Joint Coalition against ISIS. It was at this time that I finally accepted my inner truth and the fact that I'm transgender. It was thanks to the other women and transgender service members before me that I was able to summon the courage and make the leap to finally accept myself. However, there was still an initial ban on transgender military service. When the transgender military ban was lifted, I was finally able to live authentically and to serve the country that I love as my whole self. Diversity is a force multiplier. Over the last hundred years, African-American people, women, lesbian, gay, and bisexual people all had to fight for the honor to serve this country. And I'm just so proud to be a part of the most recent endeavor for a more diverse and lethal military. Hi, my name is Lieutenant Commander Caroline Johnson. I was an F-18 weapon systems officer in the United States Navy. I sat in the back of the plane and I targeted all the missiles, bombs, and coordinated the tactical employment of our aircraft over countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. And I was the first woman to neutralize ISIS in 2014. In the Navy, I learned so much, not only about the team and how important it was that we came together and leveraged everyone's strengths, and also about myself. I was able to achieve the unthinkable by harnessing my grit, the skills that the Navy taught me, and the strength that existed within me. It was just the most incredible experience, as I'm sure many of you had in the military. Today, I'm honored to wear blue to remember the amazing men and women who served in our armed forces. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Hi, my name is Captain Michaela Stewart and I am an Army medevac pilot stationed at Wheeler Army Airfield in Hawaii flying the H-60 Blackhawks. I absolutely love my job, the medevac mission, and the team I work with. As someone who has grown up in the military community, I'm consistently amazed by the resilient families who support us on a daily basis. 
I'm thankful for the men and women who have paved the way before me, for my soldiers, peers, and leaders who stand beside me, and for the future generations who will continue to break barriers. I serve for all of you and have learned that each skill set, job, and position is what makes our community and team the best it can be. Hello, my name is Agnes Babkirk and I'm Annabelle Matsko. We are here today to honor our sister, Specialist Mary Jane Janikin. Mary Jane was a loving and caring individual, always putting others before herself. She loved going to the beach and spending time with her friends. She also liked to sketch and write poetry. Her love for the military and serving our country came from her dad being a retired master sergeant. After graduating high school, she immediately finished basic training and was assigned to 3rd Infantry Division, Fort Stewart, Georgia. Soon after, she was sent on her first deployment to Iraq as a military police guard. Ten months into her deployment, Mary Jane came home to surprise her family and friends, and then went back to Iraq. That was the last time we saw Mary Jane. She was 20 years old. After her passing every year, the El Camino High School GROTC program awards the Mary Jane Spirit Award to a cadet that demonstrated the greatest leadership during drill. We would like to thank all the service members for their service and to the Gold Star families, our thoughts and prayers are with you. We may never forget. My name is Mercedes Elias, and I was in the United States Marine Corps for nine and a half years. I was called to service inspired by my father, who was a retired master sergeant in the United States Air Force. I vividly remember after September 11th, getting the call for him to be activated and deployed. During my time in service, unfortunately, I did have to experience losing fellow Marines and also their family members. When I run to remember, I run to remember two specific Marines that were near and dear to my heart. The first is my roommate from the basic school, Captain Jessica Marks, and the second is the husband of another fellow Marine, Jason Nance. By running and making sure that we keep the memories alive, for me, it lets the families and friends of our loved ones know that their memory is not forgotten and that we appreciate and recognize their sacrifice. I'm honored to run in their memory every chance I get. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Blue Angels! Hi, my name is Katie Cook. I was an active duty Marine for 12 years. While on active duty, I was a C-130 pilot, accumulating more than 1,400 flight hours, 400 of which were in combat. I did two deployments, the first in support of Operation Enduring Freedom in RC Southwest Afghanistan, conducting close air support, shooting Hellfire and Griffin missiles. My second deployment was in Central East Africa, where I conducted contingency operations, culminating in the evacuation of the embassy out of South Sudan. After I completed my mission in Africa, I was selected as the first female to fly with the famous Blue Angels. The Blue Angels, C-130, back. And out. I was honored to fly our C-130, nicknamed Fat Albert. I can absolutely say that I learned more from my Marines than I could have ever taught them. When I think back on my career, I had a lot of amazing times and a lot of really interesting experiences, but really, it's the people. Every aviator is there to support those Marines, sailors, airmen, soldiers, and our allied forces on the ground. And I think that's what makes organizations like Wear Blue Run to Remember so important because it is the people. 
and remembering those of us, the best of us, that gave the ultimate sacrifice is so important. Helping their friends and family grieve and heal and learn this new way of life without their loved ones is so important. Where Blue Run to Remember does that with, with so many families, and I am so honored to be even a small part of this organization. My name is Brittany Knappenberger, and my twin sister, First Lieutenant Ashley White, is one of this week's honored heroes. Outside the uniform, Ashley was gentle, quiet, and kind. And while most people probably thought of her as being shy, she was courageous and strong. Ashley was an avid runner, she enjoyed cooking, and ultimately spending time with family. Ashley joined the ROTC her freshman year at Kent State University. She unexpectedly proved to be a physical fitness standout, even surpassing most men's PT scores. After college, she was a reservist in the North Carolina National Guard. It was while at drill that Ashley was approached about a new program being formed that called for female service members to support special operation forces to provide medical care and interact with Afghan women and children, bridging the cultural gap that previously denied our military sensitive intel. Ashley was killed in Afghanistan on October 22nd, 2011, alongside two Rangers out on a night mission. While Ashley's sacrifice is undeniably devastating, her sacrifice has caused a snowball effect and created opportunities for females in the military that previously did not exist. I think the lesson that we can learn from Ashley's service, her sacrifice, and her life is that you can leave a lasting legacy. You can have those speak your name that never knew you simply by having the courage to do something that you believe in and make a difference in the world. Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? My name is Tanya Oxendine and I served nearly 30 years in the United States Army. The Army provided me the chance to become stronger, more independent, more reliable, and a student for life. One of the most important things that I learned in the Army about leadership was that leadership is a people's business. Your position should not prevent you from supporting others and digging in when the team needs you. I will never forget that. Wear Blue digs in by honoring the service and sacrifice of our military. They also serve the community by recognizing special events like Women's History Month, where women are highlighted for our contributions in history and in society. As a soldier and now as a veteran, organizations like Wear Blue have definitely left a permanent mark on me and changed my life for the better. So thank you guys for listening. I appreciate it. Peace. Good morning, Wear Blue community. I am I'm so inspired by all of those stories. It is so great to see you this morning. My name is Lisa Hallett. I'm a Gold Star spouse and the executive director of Wear Blue Run Tree member a national community that honors the service and sacrifice of the American military through active remembrance. It is so special to gather together to honor and remember women in military service. I especially wanna welcome this morning, all of the women who have served our country, past, present, and future, our families of the fallen and the Hopi people of Arizona. Today is the launch of our Piestawa Challenge. And this is the time where we become a living memorial as we move 174 miles 
in honor of the 174 women who've given their lives in service to our country. This week, as we speak their names, learn their stories, not only do we turn the words, thank you for your service into tangible, meaningful action, we amplify their legacies and let the example of their lives inspire ours. This challenge has been named in honor of specialist Lori Paestewa, a mother, daughter, soldier. She's the first Native American woman to give her life on foreign soil in service to our country. Today, March 23rd, marks the 18th anniversary of her sacrifice. To her family and friends, we recognize that this sacrifice was for all of us. And we are deeply honored to remember with you this morning. Specialist Piestua was a member of the Hopi people of Arizona. We have worked together to create this challenge and this morning's circle of remembrance. Specialist Piestua embodies the commitment to service and selfless sacrifice that over 1,500 Hopi veterans have demonstrated when our nation called. Today, women represent 16% of Americans in uniform. And while that percentage may seem small, it is the 700,000 American women who since the September 11th terrorist attacks have answered the call to serve both at home and in areas of armed conflict. And this is at a time when the military operational environment has been unlike anything in our nation's history. To our women in service, past, present, future, we are a stronger force because of your courage, wisdom, and commitment to country. And we know that in this commitment is one to each of us and the very potential of our country. We celebrate your contributions and take this week, grounded in your example, to live lives worthy of your incredible sacrifices. And to our families of the fallen, we remember. We remember with you, for you, and because of you. And this week, as you see thousands of miles logged, hundreds of thousands of steps taken, this week, they are for our fallen heroes. Know that we will not forget your loved ones and what they have given for us. Please join Command Sergeant Major Retired Tanya Oxendine as she leads us in a moment of silence. Good morning. My name is Command Sergeant Major Retired Tanya Oxendine. I served nearly 30 years in the United States Army. I invite you to join me in a moment of silence in honor of generations of women who have served and sacrificed, and especially in honor of this week's honored 174 fallen heroes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nikki Dorsey, and I am a retired US Army veteran. And I remember Specialist Lori Paestawa, Sergeant Jeanette Winters, Navy Seaman Katrina Grady, Staff Sergeant Anissa Shiro, Captain Tamara Archuleta, Sergeant Melissa Valles, Specialist Alyssa Peterson, Private First Class Ana Laura Espinoza Gutierrez, Specialist Tamara Ramos, and Navy Fireman Jaquia Cannon. My name is Jacqueline Sinatra. U.S. Army officer retired. As a visa ambassador, I am here to say their names 
And I remember Army PFC Rachel Bosfeld, Sergeant Jennifer Hartman, Specialist Francis Vega, Staff Sergeant Carletta Davis, Staff Sergeant Linda Jimenez, Staff Sergeant Kimberly Boles, Captain Kimberly Hampton, Sergeant Keisha Hines, Specialist Holly McGull, and Specialist Nicole Fry. Hello, my name is Derek Heim, United States Army veteran and global leader of the Veterans Leadership Network at Merck. I remember Army Specialist Tiana Felder, Specialist Michelle Whitmer, Sergeant Izella Rubalcava, Sergeant Wakuna Jackson, Private First Class Melissa Hobart, Specialist Julie Hickey, Master Sergeant Linda Tarango Grease, Sergeant Tatiana Reed, and Sergeant Shauna Morrison. My name is Bessa Pinchotti, proud spouse of a United States Marine Corps veteran. I remember Staff Sergeant Gina R. Sparks, Sergeant Jessica L. Covey, Sergeant Pamela G. Osborne, Sergeant Carrie A. Gasowitz, Sergeant Tina S. Time, Sergeant Jessica M. Housby, Specialist Katrina L. Bell Johnson, Sergeant Lizbeth L. Robles, Specialist Adriana N. Salem, and Sergeant Major Barbarillion B. Banks. Good morning, my name is Shelby Paget. I am the proud daughter of US Army veteran Sergeant First Class Philip Paget. And today I remember Specialist Crystal Stout, Chief Warrant Officer Second Class Talia Ramirez, Private First Class Sam Huff, Corporal Carrie French, Lance Corporal Holly Charette, Petty Officer First Class Regina Clark, Corporal Ramona Valdez, Sergeant First Class Trisha Jameson, Master at Arms Anna Maria Camacho, and Specialist Takar Green. Good morning, my name is Kathy Mackey and I am a United States Army retired veteran and now a team member of the Mission Continues. I remember Army First Class, Army First Lieutenant Lauren Walker, Army for Air Force First Lieutenant Sarah Small, Air Force Airman First Class Elizabeth Jacobson, Army First Lieutenant Deborah Banzaski, Army Sergeant Julia Atkins, Army Sergeant Regina Rally, Army Sergeant Mala Marlavislow, Army First Lieutenant Jamie Campbell, Army Air Force Senior Airman Alicia Good, Army Private First Class Tina Priest. Hi. Uh, my name is Michael Ho, retired Sergeant First Class and proud U.S. Army veteran of 20 and a half years. I served three years active duty and 17 and a half years reserve. I remember Private First Class Amy Dorkson, Sergeant Amanda Pinson, Lance Corporal Juana Navarro Arellano, Petty Officer Second Class Jamie Jenke, Specialist Leslie Jackson, Private First Class Hannah Gunterman, Sergeant First Class Meredith Howard, Second Lieutenant Emily Perez, First Lieutenant Ashley Henderson, and finally, daughter of Chinese and Mexican immigrants and Bronx Star awardee, Private First Class Karina Lau. My name is Phyllis Wilson, a proud 37 year Army veteran and now president of the Military Women's Memorial. And I remember Lieutenant Commander Jane Lanham, 
Sergeant Denise Lanneman, Staff Sergeant Jeanette Dunn, Major Megan McClung, Navy Fireman Sandra Grant, Senior Airman Elizabeth Lonke, Petty Officer First Class Jennifer Valdivia, Command Sergeant Major Marilyn Gabbard, Specialist Carla Stewart, and Chief Warrant Officer Five, my friend Sharon Swartworth. My name is Brandy Makua. I am a cadet sergeant at Hopi Junior Senior High School JROTC program. And I'm the daughter of retired Sergeant First Class Gordon Makua of the United States Army. And I remember Marine Captain Jennifer Harris, Marine Corporal for Purcell, Navy Petty Officer Second Class Laquita James, Army Sergeant Ashley Moyer, Army Private First Class Katie Songskin, Army Specialist Karen Clifton, Army Sergeant Trista Moretti, Army Corporal Michelle Ring, Army Captain Maria Ortiz, Army Staff Sergeant Alicia Burchett. My name is Jennifer Dane, and I'm the Executive Director of the Modern Military Association of America and United States Air Force veteran. I served six years, and I remember Sergeant Princess Samuels, Specialist Zandra Walker, Specialist Kamisha Block, Specialist Marisol Her Heredia, Captain Dr. Roselle Hoffmaster, Corporal Sierra Durkin, Seaman Apprentice Shauna Snail, Corporal Rachel Hugo, Sergeant Lillian Clemens, and Sergeant Donna J. Johnson. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Steve Ellis, and I'm uh, the father of uh, Corporal Jessica Ellis, a combat medic with the 101st Airborne Division. Uh, Jessica was killed in action in Iraq on uh, Mother's Day of uh, 2008. And uh, I'm uh, here this morning to remember uh, Navy Seaman Janessa M. Gresham, uh, Second Lieutenant Tracy L. Alger, uh, Major Gloria D. Davis, Specialist Christine M. Naduri, Specialist Ashley A. Sisma, Sergeant Tracy R. Berkman, Specialist Keisha M. Morgan, Petty Officer Sherry L. Morton, Lance Corporal Casey L. Casanova, Specialist Mary J. Janantian, and my daughter, Jessica. Good morning. My name is Captain J. Cho, United States Navy, and Gold Star spouse of Lieutenant Florence Cho killed in action in 2009 in Afghanistan. I remember Army Air Force Tech Sergeant Jackie Larson, Air Force Master Sergeant Tara Brown, Army Private First Class Jennifer Cole, Army Private Janelle King, Marine Lance Corporal Stacy Dryden, Army Specialist Sisolin Walter, Army Sergeant Simone Robinson, Army Specialist Jessica Sarandria, Air Force First Lieutenant Rosalind Schulte, and my late wife, Lieutenant Florence Cho. Good morning, my name is Corrine Bernardi. I'm a proud military spouse and member of the Cowlitz Nation in Southwest Washington. I remember Air Force Senior Airman Ashton M. Goodman, Sergeant First Class Tara J. Smith, Sergeant Eugivis G. Woof, Staff Sergeant Army C. Teradora, Private First Class Adriana M. Alvarez, Chief Warrant Officer Two Billy J. Grinder, Sergeant Lakeisha M. Bailey, Private First Class Aaron L. McLyman, Specialist Morgan M. McBeth, 
Sergeant Faith R. Hinckley and Captain Jennifer M. Moreno. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Shelly Lynn. I'm the Gold Star sister of Navy Lieutenant Richard Lynn. I remember Private First Class Jason Petrie, Staff Sergeant Araceli Gonzalez O'Malley, Lieutenant Colonel Gwendolyn Locked, Sergeant Zena Creamer, Petty Officer Second Class Dominique Cruz, Private First Class Amy Sinkler, Sergeant Linda Pierre, Staff Sergeant Cynthia Taylor, Specialist Cetaria Brown, Sergeant Devin Snyder, and First Lieutenant Ashley White. I'm Lauren Leader, CEO of All In Together. We are proud partners uh, with Wear Blue on, the, on this challenge. Um, it is my honor to remember Specialist Serena Butcher, Specialist Michaela A. Bragg, Specialist Erica P. Alexson, Specialist Crystal M. Fitz, Specialist Patricia L. Horn, Staff Sergeant Jessica M. Wing, Specialist Alina A. Ramirez Gonzalez, Master Sergeant Teresa M. Snow, Private First Class Lavina L. Johnson, Sergeant Camilla M. Steedley, Specialist Brittany B. Gordon. Good morning. My name is Major Kelly Bear. I'm a U.S. Army veteran and Gold Star sister to Captain Sarah M. Knutson, who was killed in action March 11, 2013. I remember my baby sister, Captain Sarah M. Knutson, Captain Victoria A. Pickney, Lieutenant Colonel Jamie E. Leonard, Specialist Ember E. M. Alt, Specialist Hilda I. Clayton, Sergeant Karen E. Nove, Private First Class Barbara B. Vieira, Specialist Daniela D. Rojas, Navy Seaman Yeshebel Y. Viacorosco, Major Maria B. Sanchez. Hi, my name is Pamela Jock. I'm a proud well, rare blue runner and work in the intelligence community alongside some of our bravest. I remember Air Force Airman First Class Casey Elena Ruiz, Major Phyllis Pelkey, Major Adriana Border Bruggen, First Lieutenant Anna East A. Tovar, Staff Sergeant Alexandria Morrow, Sergeant Christina M. Schonecker, Lieutenant Junior Grade Sarah Joy Mitchell, Sergeant Holly Bolinsky, Captain Kelly Ann Laley, and Senior Chief Cryptologic Technician Interpretive Shannon M. Kent. We've gathered intentionally this morning as a community at sunrise to greet the day in remembrance of these women, to speak their names. Corey Sekiakuva of American Legion Lori P.S. Dua Post 80 of the Hopi people will now lead us in a blessing of strength and encouragement. I tao I tan I hum lun mat tam um bi chang o tai I ta pi so si am dong hong hui to ta ni tai fi me ka le ta mo mo ma mo ng ma pi o ta ni pi o e Khi ma pi pi ta me o Na ko si ta ta pi lun mat ha pi an ku ku va ni Se me ni ka ha pi se mo ri Na sa mi se na na le
Good morning, everybody. My name is Cory Sekekueva. I'm from the Hopi tribe. I'm from the San Forehead clan. And I just made a prayer for everyone for this virtual run. And I am honored from American Legion, Lori Pius to a post 80 to do this prayer. And what I just said was, may the sun come greet us, give us long, strong, healthy life. And for us to have a good run all together, for all these women that were in combat and that have died since 9-11 was 174. So we'll be doing this run specifically for them. Thank you. Die! Don't so say what you are like, okay, you took me. Come on, everybody, let's have a good run. As Corey said, it is now time for us to go forward on our journey of 174 miles, imbued with the strength of these women to live strong, long, healthy lives. Before you leave, be sure to share in the chat box for whom you dedicate your miles this week or a special goal you have set. Thank you to everyone who has helped, all of our partners and the Hopi people of Arizona. But as you leave, to your day and the challenge of this week, Miss Hopi Rose Honani will now close us with a special song. Thank you for joining us. We are absolutely honored to have you as a part of this community. Get ready to get out there, run strong, but most of all, run to remember. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Rose Hanani and my Hopi name is Tawalamana, which means girl who guards. I am from the Hanikom clan and from the village of Gikotsmobi. I am the current Lori Payesiwa post 80 princess. Today I am singing a song in honor of Lori Payesiwa and the 174 women that are honored in this race. This song is a thank you song and it is meant for all the service women who made the sacrifice for their country. Askole. Kale taka we ohe, kale taka we ohe, 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 etana pas um emai te taftane. Na ka voka te lolomane, o ve e ma au na na kwe sa ma haia hea. Kwa kwa as kwa le e he he gracias haia hea. Yan e tam te wa ke to tane hue haia he o we o he. So soy him a lolo money. Way high, ah, hey, oh, way, oh, hey, oh, hey, ah, hey, ah. Gale, duck, away, oh, hey, gale, duck, away, oh, hey, hey, oh. Oh, the tower, it done, pass, um, in my date of the name. Naka vocate, lolo money. Oh, the ima, ah, na, na, quesama, haya, haya. Qua, qua, asquale, 
Ascoli, thank you. Lolo Oh, 
Hey, hey, hey. 